Okay, folks, this is what we're looking at over at Hawaii. And basically, I got this zoomed in, and then we'll be able to get a better look at it. And we'll look over here at the 3D image that it puts off. And it's up by the sun, and I'll also give you our auditor's formal haunt. This is the 3D image over here in the corner that it puts off. Okay? But that actual image is up here by the sun. And basically, we'll just pop this down to 150. And you'll see the base, kind of like genie out of the bottle kind of effect that it's doing right now. And then you can see that that you get there. There's a 3D effect, and there's our object that's in front of the, the sun. And we're over it. Then you get Spica, Arcturus, and the sun. And then you also get this etched. Whether this is the, but it should not be our actual object here. This should be something that's in front of the sun. So we actually have a lot of objects that are around in front of the sun. Okay, and then we also have a meatball, which I can go ahead and... There'll be another video with this that basically they snipped in and got my audio again because they don't like the actual factual that there is the meatball. Now, it's trying to figure out whether the idea that this is what we actually see to the right of the sun with us here on Earth, and this is fresh, and there's Jupiter there, and I've also got a shot where I'll just show you what you actually just pay attention to all the footage in the other one, and you'll be able to see, let me go ahead and show it to you, because what we have is we've got the meatball there, we've got Jupiter, we got the meatball, you can't miss it, and you can almost see the other, whatever the heck there is way up here too, there's like another meatball way over here behind it, and here's the meatball here, so there's a lot of stuff up there. What I'm kind of figuring is what we're seeing to the right of the sun is this object up here, this one here, the smaller one. But we got the meatball here, and I believe this is to be like 42 here. And you see that out of there's a lot more objects up there than by the sun than what we figured there is. And this is all from what I'm showing you on the 17th here, this footage. And basically you can see Pleiades over here to the left. There's Pleiades. So, pop down in size here, maybe like uh, 200 being real fast. And then you'll see that this is what we're looking at, and then I'll give you another side shot of the dog. And that's what you're seeing is the meatball right there, that there, and also that object over at Kauai on the footage. So, let's go down and I'll show you that, and then we'll get the other shot. And basically, you'll see Venus doing a CME reactor flare here to the right. You can just barely see that. And what it's doing is basically, it's not a huge CME off the sun that it's doing it to. It's doing it to the actual factual that the meatball is there. The meatball is in the area, okay? You don't see it on the red because basically it layers, 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 layers. And also this is an angle where you can see Pleiades also, okay? So this is always different angles, remember, on the cameras and on the different satellites. So now we'll go back and look at Remember, we got lots of objects in front of Spica, Arcturus, and the Sun. Okay, we've got all of our remnants that are up by the Sun, in front of the Sun. This object gives us this 3D effect here, and then we'll go back to look at the Sechi, and you'll see why that's doing that. And then basically, this is an object that's in front of the Sun also. It's been out there for a long time. It's giving us that signature there. We got all these remnants that are well known that are in the daytime sky. So. And then we know we have the remnants up there that are close by the sun. And you can see they show up real good in this stereo shot here. And then you got that core there on the 13th. And then we've got all this action from the 16th that we're showing you in the movie. Of, which basically blows up the meatball right there. And you'll have to see even more because you're seeing something up over here also. And this is why we got all the fires because of all the sun and propagation of all these stars and all the heat that we're getting it takes a lot many years for that sun to get here but we're getting in the position where we're getting it and all these stars light is why we're getting that light on Venus and also Jupiter but Venus is looking much bigger because it's collecting all that light right now and also Earth is getting it and we're getting fires give you all this data here and then basically always watch on full screen and then you can freeze and everything, and there's your what you want to do physical size comparisons, okay? Arcturus is huge, okay? And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna, there you go. That's how everything sits. And remember, Kepler's out there, and there's a wave, there's tons of other stars that are out there too, then plus all the stars that are up here in the supergiants, but there's more than a hundred of them that are bigger than the sun. 
and brighter than the sun. And that's where we're sitting right now. And we're getting all this light, and here is your stats and factual data on all this stuff. Sun spike, and actually, I spelled some stuff wrong, but we're just gonna basically, I ain't got time to be cutting it. Worry about making it all perfect, and there's your Hertz per the diagram. The way the stuff is positioned in space. And that's why we see all these objects, because we have all this light that we can see all the remnants and everything like that. It's a very rare occasion. Very rare. Probably first known to man that really documented it good. Spica, Arcturus, and this one. And formal hot's out there too. And here's an example of formal hot rising. And basically, it's going to be doing its set, but basically it's rising away in the sky. And then you get the super giants later that come up, but I'm going to go back to showing you the actual factual of formal hot. Because basically that's formal hot going away. See that? Up in the corner, you've seen it at the last second because it's out in front of Uranus. And that's why we're getting some good shots of Uranus right now. And we'll get that down there again. I'll catch it up. There you go. That's formal hot going away. We've got a lot more than just one sun during the daytime, folks. Because that's daylight going away in the darkness of night. And because when these remnants go bye bye, then we're getting going in the dark. And there's formal hot going bye bye. So we're getting we got way, way more than one sun. It's actual factual truth. They just don't like to talk about it too much. A bunch of old school patriotic stuff about one sun. Well, there's way more than one sun. Star. See these alignments always they change. They always change these alignments too. And we'll go down real fast. And there is your size comparison again. You got to pay attention to all this, okay? So there's a little bit of phony shit going on today. So be careful and don't relax and don't get. Uh, don't be shooting gophers with your uh, BB gun today, or actually do that, but don't shoot anybody else with anything else because basically they're doing this today in certain areas, so be aware they're doing some fake, just like when they usually do these fake ambulance accident things, at least they're supposed to be anyway, they're having this shakeout thing today because of all the earthquakes that are going on and basically you can see all the regions that are worried about it because this stuff is all actually going on. The main, I guess... Newfoundland would probably like to be going in on some of this stuff, huh? And this is all the action we're getting off the we're getting a wild movement of earth through our auroral. So you can check this action out. Refresh that and you can also see what I had at the last night. And it's not getting any better. So keep an eye on all this stuff. And then uh, we also have what we got going on on our auroral. This is our, our electrons. Let's see what else I got here. I got the other one, the other map. Each one shows different ions. It's part of our ionosphere. So, it's going to be an interesting day of quakes, more than likely. Here's your actual radiation that's hitting Earth. And what's really interesting is basically. You go over here and select your flight path codes. You go to this link, and this here, both these upper and lower, will show you how unsafe it is for somebody who's pregnant. It's not a good idea to be taking a long flight. Okay. And then you can also basically see what's going on with the aurora. The radiation is seeping in and out, so atoms are seeking each other inside and outside space and earth so it's getting to be a scientific or actual factual uh, pretty interesting and so all the way along it's not good for anything pregnant to be prenatal it's too dang high to be as you can see it's not good So a 
lot of high radiation up there in the sky. Don't want to have any pregnant stewardesses. But there's lots of programs you can go to see our aurora and see what's going on. And there's our auroral action. It almost seems like Earth is slowing down a little bit because we're not getting as much ready to activity. And we'll take a look at that in some other models. So you can see the sun doing a lot of spiking GME action. We'll go down and look at the data. The one thing is, is the polar angle is moving a lot very dramatically. Last night in my video it was way over here and now we're back to zero again. So that's where we get that wobble and that redness that you see on the simulation. Temperatures dropped a little bit from what it was and also the wind speed is down a little bit. And you can see some CME action coming off some other, of the other suns. You can see it shows up on the telemetry. As you see that it doesn't come off the sun. This here comes off of Alarath or Formal Hot or something like that. You see this here? That's not coming off the sun. So there's lots of stuff throwing rays out there. That's a CME off to one of the other suns there. It gets caught on the telemetry. And if you see the uh, stereo A is having to get by that M, doing a pretty good job of navigating, not getting caught right directly in it. But it looks like it gets a little bit, might get something from that one right there. That's the stereo A ahead. And you see Earth is getting a CME there. We get this one here. So let's go down and see what we got going on for. There's a coronal action. With some wild action last night. Watch the video from last night. And also the audio got stolen away from today's earlier one, which I'll also load up. I'm not sure which order to open them. I'll probably put the, try to get this one on with the sound first, but go ahead and watch the other one that's going to have no sound. So as you see, the sun is doing some wild electrical transmissions. The data shows spiking getting ready to uh, cross phase again pretty soon. It just hasn't got there yet. A lot of telemetry breaking up a little bit though. And we'll go down and see if we got uh, any C's. And this is the, the wild warning that they have on that data there. Warning dark 43.0. Never seen that before. And there you see we're getting into some C's again like I was saying. I figured we would and we're probably going to get to something, bust something off again pretty soon. Which is scary because of the idea of the actual factual of what we are seeing here off the sun. Very, very volatile right now. Lots of spots. Lots of spots. I.e., the sun's looking pretty scary. As you can see here. And I'll screw down to this here. There you go. Pretty wild right now. The sun's really flaring its ass off. Rippling all over the place. Magnetogramming ain't any much better to look at. A lot of spots. We're going to get lucky if we get by this without any big question or that. So many spots on the sun, it's scary right now. So. Remember, the meatballs what's making Venus do that big brightness there. This Earth going to blow up what we got on uh, the telescope over in Hawaii from the Canadian and the French. And that's what's up next to the sun right there pretty much matched exactly what we've seen on Soho before. I.e. this is probably why Hilo Viewer is down right now. Probably why. Actual fact of what's going on in space out there. Because the meatball is what's making Venus flare right here. Did you see it flare right there? I'm going to blow up to that. As you can see Venus flaring here right to the right. Okay, and what's doing that is the meatball. And this is fresh footage from here. Fresh quake down by the Mariana Trench makes people in the New Madrid a little nervous because Maine already had that stuff. And because there was a 5.0 in New Hampshire and a 4.5 in Maine. Right there. And they're kicking the ticks off. Now they stole the, the sound off this one. This is when you're going to have the good footage of the meatball right there. And actually, you can almost see another big meatball up above, too. So watch this video because I don't have no sound to it, and they basically stole the sound. So check that video out. I'll load this one up. There's the meatball. You can't miss it.
Meatballs right there, and you get missed, and you see it all in the other movies, but can't get back into Sechi right now.